Okay, here we have y to the negative 2 plus 2y to the negative 1, and we have minus 15 equals 0. Now this may seem intimidating at first, but when you have this format, something squared or something to the negative 2, you should think, hey, it's time to foil. There we go. Put a, build our little parentheses houses and put stuff inside there. You know that y times y gives you y squared, so y times negative 1, y to the y negative 1 gives you y to the negative 2. How do we know? When you multiply bases, you always add exponents. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. Then we move on to the last. Well, these two numbers have to, when multiplied, have to equal negative 15 and add to 2. Therefore, we know that this has to be plus 5, right? Because we have a plus 2, and this has to be minus 3. So this has to be, again, 2 greater when you add them and you multiply them negative 15. Now they want to know what could be one of the values of y. We can set both of these equal to 0. We can get 1 to the negative 1, or y, y to the negative 1 equals 3. And we can get y to the negative 1 is equal to negative 5. Make sure, of course, when you set them equal to 0, you subtract by the, negative five, by the 5, and hence we get negative 5. Now, we can solve for both of these. And anything with a negative 1 is simply this flipped over, which is 1 third. Same over here. Negative 5 flipped over is negative 1 fifth. Now, we don't actually have an answer for 1 third, but we do have negative 1 fifth, which is answer choice C.